Hey guys, wanted to get one more video out here. I need to start pushing through these videos on gear uh, explanation or review pre-hike because I need to get them out um, packed up and get ready to go. So in this video, I want to cover uh, water management, water filtration, uh, what I'm using for a cook system, and some basic navigation tools. So what I'll do is I'll flip the camera around here and see if we can't cover those three topics real quick. So what we have here is the Sawyer Squeeze, not the mini squeeze, but I guess it's called the regular size, and the uh, Sawyer Squeeze flexible bag. Basically, you open it up from the bottom, fill it up, uh, attach the filter to it, and then squeeze it into another reservoir. Uh, the two reservoirs that I have are the Platypus um, two liter bags, and I will end up having something like a um, Good Life or whatever they call that one liter water bottle that you buy at the gas station. So I'll end up with um, carrying three liters to five liters at a time, depending on how long the water carry should be for a certain stretch of the desert. We'll talk a little bit about my cook system here. We're using the MSR wind burner. I use this on the Colorado Trail and I really like it. A lot of people are going to cold soak. Uh, ultra light hikers tend to not carry a cook system, but uh, I really enjoy having hot coffee, hot tea, hot soup, things like that at the end of a hike or at, you know, first thing in the morning. Uh, that'll have a uh, fuel tank attached to the bottom. And um, we also have what's called uh, a rat knife. This was a suggestion by a friend of mine. It's a Randall's Adventure training knife. And it's a really lightweight pocket knife and supposedly never gets dull. And then we have a basic pack towel to clean everything up with. And finally, for some basic navigation, I'll be using the National Geographic Pacific Crest Trail uh, paper maps as well as the Pacific Crest Trail Pocket Atlas and the various maps I'll have um, mailed to me in my resupply boxes along with my food resupplies. I have a basic compass that was a gift from a buddy of mine and uh, the Garmin InReach 2 Mini uh, personal GPS locator as well as the Garmin Phoenix 7 uh, solar powered watch. Uh, the watch has mapping and GPS capabilities. So if my phone for whatever dies, uh, for whatever reason dies, then uh, I still at least have a compass and I'll have uh, the PCT maps downloaded to my watch. So that's that, nothing too fancy, but uh, should be enough to get me by. So one thing I want to add about the uh, navigation, I'll be using the Far Out app. Um, this used to be Gut Hooks, and I'm not sure why it's Far Out now, but it has all the uh, Pacific Crest Trail maps with waypoints, um, updated water sources, uh, GPS uh, coordinates, if you will. Uh, people can other hikers can update it with uh, real-time trail conditions. And um, yeah, so it's a really cool app. Uh, if you ever consider to hike the Pacific Crest Trail, I'd say it's a, it's a have to have. Um, it works without Wi-Fi, without internet. You just put your phone on airplane mode and everything works on GPS. So, um, probably going to be one of the more important tools that I use on trail. Uh, it's easy to get off trail and get a little bit lost, but if you have a resource like that, as long as your battery is up, then you should be able to find your way back to the trail. So, all right, uh, see you on down the trail a little bit.